This video is made possible by the following cuties. You can check out the gear they provide for me in the description below. Hey guys, that annoying guy that shouts at the camera boy here, and welcome back to Race Room for another video. Now, Race Room was recently updated, so I thought it would be a perfect time to do this video that I've been kind of thinking about for a while, and it's been made even more perfect by the fact that this is kind of happening in real life soon. Let me explain what I mean. So in this video, I'm going to be racing the Group C 962 around Bathurst in a five lap race, which sounds like pretty standard stuff for this channel, to be honest. But the reason why I'm doing this is because next year for the Bathurst 12 hours, there is going to be a Group C demonstration at Bathurst. The first time, I think anyway, that these cars have ever gone round the Mount Panorama circuit. Now, I don't need to tell you how awesome that is, but I'm going to show you anyway in this race against the AI. Of course, Mount Panorama is famed for, well, pretty much the mountain sections, it's called. The long climb up Mountain Straight, and then all that top section coming down to Forest Elbow is insane in any car, let alone a Group C monster. As you guys can probably tell, I'm quite excited for this video because Group C cars are amongst my favorite cars to drive and to watch go around because they're just spectacular in every way. And Bathurst is one of my favorite circuits. So I've never really been that good at it, especially as I mentioned the uh, the mountain section before. But uh, Troll by Fire, I think we can call this. And just very quickly before we get into this race, a very small shill, which is to say that all merch currently is 15% off until Christmas Day using the code down below in the description. If you're interested, cool. If not, enjoy the video anyway. So here we are on the grid at Bathurst in the monster, the Porsche 962 Group C car. Standing start for just the banter's sake, I guess. We've got to try and get a good start here. Build the revs, try not to bog. Wait for the lights, so they are. That's what I want. A bit of wheel spin, just a little bit. Nice getaway there, and here we are then. Five laps of Bathurst in Group C. None of that is wrong to say. Forced out wide a little bit by the Nissan. Have to try and cut back to the inside there. Cut the guy off behind me. And now we've got Mountain Straight for the first time. with a drafting battle on the first lap. Tucking in behind the Nissan, which is very quick in the straight line, by the way. Up to fifth gear, we're going to break quite early for Quarry for the first time. I think it's Quarry. I'm bad at calling names. Oh, there's just Nissan sitting in the middle of the road, nowhere for me to go. I'm having to wait for the traffic jam to get over and done with. I do not want to do that. Round the outside at the cutting. Thank you very much, AI. Oh, bottom of the RPM there, no turbo. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Round the outside goes the yellow, uh, the yellow Nissan. Okay, fair enough, mate. Now my favourite section of a circuit. Really fun in a, a high downforce car. Getting it hooked up over the top, though, is quite tricky. You see I'm losing a ton of time to the guys in front. Got to try and make that up again coming downhill. Got to be easy on the brakes down here. Very easy to snag a brake if, you, if you're not careful. But sure, now we have flat spots in race room. Do that a couple of times. And you end up having a very negative time in the 4C back, especially with one of these direct drive wheels. Forest elbow, then. Ah, just putting a bit too much lock on a bit too early, pushing the front tyres instead of letting them hook. And again, now down Conrad straight, we've got a nice draft from the car in front, but so does he. Getting up to 300 k's here, but we hit 310. There's 310, about 190 mile an hour, nearly 200 mile an hour before slamming on the anchors and trying to find our way through the left hander. Very difficult to get that right because of a curb on the inside this car is upset big time by curves as you can imagine so you can touch a couple but not all of them AI doing a lot of middle of the road driving right now making it very difficult to find anywhere to get by I'll take that good run out of there I'm going to make it three wide down the hell corner yeah why not let's do it chuck it up the inside come across the line saw a car on my outside there and it was nice made it stick I did not expect to survive that oh there is a car there it's a fellow Porsche hello friend Getting towed along by the Nissan in front, fortunately, so I've got to worry about him. I don't think coming up to. I'm, I'm going to call it Quarry, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Just balancing the front out there. I love Group C cars so much. They're just so, so much magic to drive them. It's such a proper driver experience. You're having to use the heel and toe, with your manual gearbox. You've got to be so careful with that turbo, it's just looking at any excuse to bite your face off. That's what a race car should be. You should feel violated after driving a race car, be it sim or real life. And this is one of those cars that I think does that. 
Right, let's try and get through here now. It's easy on the turn in. I'm, I'm so slow over the top compared to the AI. I've got to do all my uh, all my lap time going back down the mountain, it seems, and then straight away, right in the back of the Nissan again. As soon as the car's put in a straight line, you're just on the gas. This is why racing is so good for AI races, it really is. I always forget that for some reason, I don't know why. I see a big crane of Group C cars in front. I, it's, it's very unlikely we're going to see a race like this when they do the demonstration run, but a man can hope, right? A man can hope. A bit slower in the straight line than this hand in front, but still again getting up to nearly 200 miles an hour. Slamming on the brakes. Down through the gears, down the second, opting to go through every gear. This is for the engine braking. You're right in the edge of grip through there. You can hear the wheels spin as they try and put the 600 plus horsepower through them. Oh, hey, hi, it's so slow for last corner. I'll take it though. Where are we then? We are up to 12th place and the fastest lap to boot. So, obviously, doing something right in the moment. Come on, just try and keep going. Right, we're going to have the draft of the Nissan in front. You see, the uh, I'm getting a little bit of oscillation in the straight line here. I haven't really figured out how to remedy that, unfortunately. So, I'm holding this wheel quite as straight as I can do, anyway. On the straights. Maybe the AI could do with being a little bit more difficult, I think, for this race, but I'm still having a ton of fun doing it. Again, great combination. Go and try it if you have the uh, Group C car and Bathurst. It's such a good combo to have fun with. So I haven't been able to get past coming into the cutting, which means I'm going to have to wait, I think, to the back straight again. I'm trying to be a bit more aggressive over here, but I can just feel the car sliding right to the top of third gear. Dip the, the brake there just to bring the car, front end of the car, into the corner. Same here over the uh, top of the mountain using all the road and then heavy on the brakes so you're carrying so much speed going into there that the braking zones of uh, other cars you might drive just do not apply to this you've got to brake a bit earlier but we do have downforce to help us out downforce slows us down quite a lot in the initial braking so we can use that to our advantage it's a big train of cars in front is there anywhere to go here no that's side by side is it time to bump draft Group C cars? I hear you ask. I think maybe it is. No, I've got too much speed there. I'd yeet him off the circuit. I'm going to try and follow this blue car through, though. Around the outside. The car's still there on the inside. Ah, uh, might get two here. Oh, the 82 just scared me a little bit towards the end. I decided to give them the place. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this. Second gear. I'm going to go and take advantage of slow AI. I'll take a place there. Thank you very much. Making that place is very nicely. Three laps down, two to go. Up to P10. I'm going to get a podium out of this. Having to take a wider line there to avoid the car slow on the inside. It's very slow on the inside. I'll take that place then. Now behind the front of the Porsche, you can tell by the massive wing on the back of it. I'm quite sure why I wasn't using the drafts. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner, my uh, my wear on the tyres they should be fine for the rest of the race but I'm going to start feeling I think the front tyre wear towards the end I'm being a little bit aggressive with the car kind of how I drive though hello friend that was a very <laughs> big crunch fortunately for me damage is off otherwise that would be a quite large bill I imagine I'm still struggling to get up here as quick as that AI manage it that was okay though again dab of the brake Oh, too late though. You see the front end just did not want to comply there. Go behind, he's looking, he's looking. I'm going to try and cover the lines if he doesn't try and go up the inside there. That's just asking for a big accident. There you go. Dip it in there. Oh, it's so bumpy on the way down again through the dipper. And this car again, not really made for bumps. Could have softened up a bit more, I think, but I kind of like the no compromise setups. The acceleration of this thing is absolutely mad. I know it's like that's in kilometres an hour, but 220 k is about 140 mile an hour. I think of it that way. And we're just pushing past it on the way up to the big numbers, to the 190s, to the 200s. Draft assists, of course, but who cares? If they don't do, if they don't do 200 mile an hour in a race series, I don't want to know about it, man. <laughs> I know that kind of discounts every series apart from NASCAR and F1, I think. But well, they still do 200 mile an hour at the Mon, don't they? Even if Toyota have been nerfed to the point of hilariousness. 
Okay. So coming on now, I think this is the last lap. It is the last lap. I've got the fastest lap as well. Let's try and make some plays. Locking up a little bit there on the way into Hell Corner. And then just flat on exit. The car scrambling for the grip. The rear tyres still have it though, so we're going to use it. We've got the draft of the car in front. I'm going to try and send it coming up the hill here. He comes across to defend, barely enough for him to get into the corner. Again, having to use all of second gear to get through. Can we go around the outside here? Squeeze it around. Maybe off boost, off boost, sideways, come on. He's still there. He's still there on the left. He's still there, come on. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to give him the room. <laughs> Still side by side. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Just about made that work. That was only a little bit terrifying. Bravo, race from AI, though. You could have been me at any point there and you didn't. Gave me a... That was like racing a human up there. That was ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about. It's enough to get anyone infused with this sort of racing, I think. Can we get one more, though? We're a bit far back down the straight. Maybe we have, if we have a very, very good last sector, maybe we can just about manage something. But this is why Group C should have raced here, man. This would have been fantastic. Incredibly dangerous, of course, but what a spectacle it would have been. All right, okay, how late can we break here? Not that late. No, no. All my hard work undone. No. <laughs> Damn it. In typical broadband fashion, I'll bottle it right at the last moment. But my terrible driving aside, that was a ton of fun, as it always is, driving at race from a Bathurst against the AI. Oh, man. We would have finished in, I think, seventh place there, but we ended up finishing down in ninth. Damn it. Just got a bit too enthusiastic at the end there. But it happens sometimes, but that's part of the fun. Well, guys, I think, as you can tell, I really enjoyed that. That was amazing fun, and I definitely recommend you give this a go if you have this car and track combo. I know they aren't going to race like that in the uh, the 2020 Bathurst 12 hour kind of build up. I know, I know that won't happen, but just seeing these cars go around, I think it's going to be a great treat and I'm really looking forward to it. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon, because that way you'll be made notified of future streams and, of course, future videos like this. As always, I have to say a massive thank you to my patrons and to my channel members. I very much appreciate your support. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.